happy birthday. One of my favorite memories of you has to be just our trip driving to California when I moved out here. That was so much fun. Also, me trying to get you through Reno without stopping to gamble, that was quite the challenge. But um, also, I'd have to say another favorite memory would be when you and mom came to visit me in Europe and we were riding together on the tram and mom and I were waiting at the door for the tram to stop for us to exit and you decided to play it cool and stay in your seat and so mom and I exited and the door shut behind us and then there you were with a deer in, like a deer in headlights trying to open probably open the door with um, your your hands and finally the driver opened it and let you off but that was I mean mom and I laughed about that for days mom and I still laugh about that actually um, what I love most about you, or what I appreciate most about you, which is probably what everyone's going to say, is your sense of humor, and that you always get everyone laughing, and that you're silly, and you're fun, and you like to have fun, and you can make any situation, you can turn anything into fun, and that's what I appreciate most about you, because especially as I get older, and now that I have my own family, I think that you know things don't always go perfect things don't always go the way you expect them to but um, if you can laugh about it you can find some humor in what happens in life then that's the true key to being happy and and to having joy so thank you for teaching me that and I love sharing in your laughter and your silliness and I know that my kids appreciate that about you as well. If Reagan and Owen could articulate well enough for this tribute, I think they would both say, thank you for being so silly with them. Thank you for being so fun. And um, they love the, the kid in, at heart that you are. Always been a kid at heart, so. I love you so much, Dad. Happy birthday. I wish I could be there to celebrate with you, but we'll see you soon. Well, happy birthday to Hammer and Hank. Um, my favorite memory of you, obviously there's there's a lot, um, but my one that I can, you know, that I think about is the time that you and Ben drove up to Madison and you came up there and met Jeff and I uh, for that Badger game. We really had a, had a great day. We had lots of laughs, obviously lots of beers that day, uh, but we had a lot, a lot of fun and it really meant to me a lot to me, excuse me, that you came up there, that you and Ben came up there. Um, and what do I appreciate the most uh, as far as about you? Um, it's kind of twofold. Obviously, it's your great sense of humor. You, you make me laugh. I have a great time around you. Um, really enjoy spending my time with you. And then the second part is, is the part of how great of a dad you are. tell you this all the time. I really look up to you about this. Um, and, and I really appreciate that. And I see your effort that you put into it. And I hope that my kids feel the same way that I know your kids feel about you. So, so happy birthday, Henry. I obviously love you. Happy birthday, Dad. Uh, I hear it's snowing there. Anyways, uh, the question is, what's my favorite memory of Dad? And I say, hands down, it's playing monster tag. Like, every single boring family get together, because let's face it, when your kids, it's boring. And Dad would be the one that, with enough gentle prodding, would eventually come and play monster tag with us and chase us around the yard for hours. And that was just the best time. So much fun when an adult gets involved and plays with the kids. So. Many, many times this happened, but overall that's my favorite memory. The second thing is, what do you appreciate most about Dad? And uh, I think, you know, there's a lot of like great qualities, but I think what I appreciate most is that you you taught us to be, you taught us to, to treat people well and to have your own code of honor. 
and you did this every single day. Um, and so we got to watch it and just experience it growing up from making sure that you're honest with people that you deal with, um, from just treating people fairly or going out of your way for people who need help. And, you know, not everybody does that. And I think that surprises me when I find out people don't because that's just the example that I grew up with. So I'm very, very thankful that I had that as an example so that I could be that type of an adult. Um, and I hear there's some pretty, like, um, the competition's pretty stiff for these videos apparently now, so um, I hope that cuts. I hope that cuts it. But uh, if you're asking yourself, "Am I where? Why is Lindsay outside?" It's because yes, um, it is snowing in Illinois right now, and I would just like to point out that it is beautiful and sunny here in Arizona. So, I mean, retirement planning, blah blah blah. Anyways, um, happy birthday! I love you and enjoy the snow. What is one of my favorite memories of you? And I would say for a childhood memory, one of my favorite memories is going to the father-daughter dance at the Chatham Community Center. It was a Girl Scout event. So Lindsay and I both went. We had to share, share you. And I just remember having so much fun dancing with you and you would swing us between your legs and it was a blast. And we were all dressed up. And I just loved having that time with you. And one of my favorite songs we danced to was Billy Ray Cyrus, Achy Breaky Heart. That was my favorite in the third grade. So, and I love that dance. So, that was a childhood memory. Hey, Dad. Happy birthday. Um, I'm supposed to answer two questions about you. Um, the first is my favorite memory of you. Um, I have a lot of really fond memories. Most of them involving riding around with you in the truck, looking at real estate and housing projects and going to rental properties but the funniest thing I remember is when we brought that backhoe back from Palmyra at grandpa's house and you were driving at like 10 miles per hour on the back roads and it took like three hours and I was driving the truck as the lookout finding the best route home all the way to Glen Arm. It usually takes about half an hour by car but we managed to take about three and a half hours and we were just running around on the country roads trying to get that backhoe down, back home without breaking down too often, which I think it did finally when we were just outside of Glen Arm. But I thought that was a funny memory with you. And then the thing I like most about you would have to be your sense of humor and your kindness. And I think those kind of go hand in hand. And that helps me be a, a kinder person. And that's what I love about you so much, and I just want to say happy birthday, and I can't wait to see you. Love you. Bye. Hi, Henry. Um, I wanted to help contribute to your birthday surprise, and the first question that I was asked was, what is my favorite memory that involves you? And um, there's lots of great memories, um, but some of my favorites are when you are really goofy and you tell lots of really funny stories. Um, I'll never forget when we played, we always, Ben and I would come down from Iowa to come visit you and Mary. And I just love um, catching up with you guys and hearing funny stories that you and Mary experienced while we hadn't seen you when we were catching up. And one of the good ones was um, the, oh bless his heart story. And I think you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, and also I remember the very first time you decided to introduce the rubber horse mask. That is the uh, Lucky horse mask. Um, and we were Skyping with Reagan. And I think you, I think if I remember correctly, you did that horse mask mask for the first time when we were there and we were FaceTiming with Reagan and oh my gosh that just is always hilarious. I just think that every time that you put that horse mask on you become this Henry that the whole family knows and loves and um yeah I just really like all the memories I have of you being goofy um and the other question was, what do I appreciate about you? And I would say that I appreciate mostly 
um, the love that you share with your family, um, the love that you have for your immediate family and also for your extended family. You always try really hard to um, make sure everybody you know, tries to follow tradition and shares memories together and I just really think that's important too. So I, I really appreciate that you are so loving with your family and that you really, really try to take time to spend with them. And um, I think that that's such a great example to be for your children and especially for Ben um, towards me. I, I feel like that's a huge part of the reason why I love him. So um, yeah, I think that's great. and. I hope that you have a wonderful birthday. Happy birthday, Henry. We miss you. Me to do this video for your birthday. So you know what you're gonna get. Um, so, memorable moment is our first date. Um, when you and Sean put the chickens in the trunk on Halloween and we went into Kentucky Fried Chicken and saying we love our chicken. Oh yes we do. And that was the start of a very long relationship. I had no idea what I was getting into. But no regrets. No regrets. That was a lot of fun. It was crazy. And then um, what I appreciate most I would say about Henry is um, that he stayed with me through all these years. That's not been easy. Um, and uh, his compassion for people, um, your compassion for people, and your sense of humor. I love it. It makes me laugh all the time. And, uh, and the fact that you love me so much. So um, I appreciate that. I appreciate all that. Uh, just keep being who you are. And uh, I love you. Happy birthday. <laughs>